So I'm going to talk about basic cutting style for YouTube. Now this is not necessarily going to jive with the actual film people. Uh, this is just from experience from what seems to work on YouTube. So I've got uh, some examples from my main channel videos and let's watch this clip real quick. So I was at Playlist Live Business Day between talks when I spotted Lamar Wilson. So I go up to him and I say, Lamar, I'm sure you're really busy, but I just... Now that's boring. There's space between uh, that story. We don't want that there. Um, so let's zoom in. And you can do this in any editor, obviously. Um, and let's trim that up there. And let's trim this down to where that waveform seems to peter out. And uh, let's see how that sounds. Talks when I spotted Lamar Wilson. So I go up to him and I say, Lamar, I'm sure you're really... Okay, so there we go. The pacing is much better. There's no dead space, but the audio is a little bit clipped, which is not great. Um, so what you want to do in this case is steal from uh, traditional film and do what's called a J cut or an L cut. This, in this case, we'll be doing an L cut. Uh, so for an L cut, what you want to do is take the second clip and trim it so that it's close to the beginning of uh, what's being said. Now, I know that the this initial waveform part is just my inhaling before I start speaking. So I can cut that off a little bit and let's see how this sounds. So I go up to him and I say, Lamar. And that works on its own, great. Um, now then for the first clip, uh, you want to split the audio. Um, and now I think in iMovie or some more primitive software, you may actually have to physically split the audio, but this maintains the connection. Um, and then you just trim the video portion and you can let the clips overlap just a little bit uh, as far as the audio goes. Um, and let's see how this sounds. Let's zoom out. I spotted Lamar Will, so I go up to him and I say, Lamar, I'm sure you're... All right, and that's good. So you see the uh, the pacing is still there, but we're not losing, uh, the words aren't getting clipped. You're not hearing a, a hard stop. Um, however, Wilson, because because of the way I delivered it, it's a little bit soft, so I'm going to actually give myself a little bit, a few more frames here to try and help that out. Let's see. Spotted Lamar Wilson. So I go up to him and I say, Lamar, I'm sure you're really... There we go. And uh, that is basically how you do an L cut, and you'll see the L cut actually matches... Uh, it's called an L-cut because of the shape. If you have the video and the audio in the same uh, in the same film strip, uh, then the shape of this cut uh, looks like an L um, with the video cut earlier than the audio. Now, this can be really, really great for comedy and keeping this very, very fast paced. Uh, sometimes you don't want that, though. Sometimes you may have a reaction shot where you need a beat, but you don't necessarily want to clog down the whole video uh, waiting for that. So I have a second clip, um, and let's watch this. You're asking me, man, you crazy. Alrighty, so that one, um, and that's that's a partial clip because it was a, it, I stripped it out of context from the original video. Um, but in this case, uh, the reaction shot there is fine, and the clip here is fine. But there's no reason to have this this jarring cut right there. So in this case, what we want to do is a J cut where we actually have the audio from the second clip start before we cut to the video, so we can continue on that reaction shot a little bit longer. Um, let's play this now. You're asking me, man, you crazy? And see, that works very well, um, because then you, you know, and it works in particular when you have just, you know, your money into the camera, you've got some sort of uh, reason that you know, you need the reaction or the beat after you finish whatever you're saying to be there, but you want to keep the pacing of the video going. Um, so that is basic editing for YouTube. Um, it helps just to keep everything trimmed and fast-paced and in motion, and J-cuts and L-cuts are a great way to do that.